Quick side note, the reason I keep saying let's move on to the next level though, because you probably noticed it by now, is just because it's easier for me to edit towards the end of levels. That way I'm not talking in the middle of a conversation or tangent. Oh, new enemy. This is the wizard? Oh no. Blue magic user. The wizard. Yes, I was right. He does this annoying melody that instead of putting me to sleep, he makes me dance. Which is actually not that good. There we go. Out of dancing, so we're gonna can't get any more weapons. Let's equip the shuriken. That's two points of thrown damage. I don't know why I just equipped the sword. I'm gonna throw away the hand axe, because I'm probably gonna pick up another one. Yep, another hand axe. And re equip the hand axe. Ah, oh, damn it! So that's the other trap. Pretty much what it does is sends me back to the previous level, but the previous level has all the items, the same exact map, and same monsters that respond. It's good if you want to uh, gain a little bit more experience, but at this point I'm pretty good because I'm already a soldier. Um, it's a little bit annoying because I'm pretty much backtracking. Destroyed the robot. I already know where the stairs are on this level because it, it's the same. Well, that, that, that looks different. So I, I don't think it's the same monsters, but it's the same layout. Let's see, let's try and regen some health before that ninja comes down. Ow. And I want to take on these robots. Let's do the one by itself first. Just try to get the uh, extra experience. I want to see if I could get a level up before I hit the next level again. Or if I'm going to have to run away from these guys again. Let's, uh, I'm gonna regen some health before taking the third robot, so I can hurry up and finish this level. And now, the thing is, that trap is gonna be in the same exact spot when I go back to the next level. So I'm going to... Hopefully I remember where it is. I'm running away now. I'm dancing. Come on. Come on. Gonna have to take a hit for him. Um, because sometimes I actually forget where the trap is and ended up repeat. Oh, son of a bitch! That's that's annoying right there. So I am repeating level 7 again, and I don't remember where the stairs are here, even though I probably just did this. Okay, secret door. Robots. Um, let's kill them. For the experience. I know uh, one trick I usually did and my dad would usually do when he played this game was he would figure out where the traps were and fall in them on purpose just to power level first few early, early levels and make it easier later on. But um, for time's sake and for a bit of a challenge, I'm not going to do that this time around. But it is a legit strat. level as fast as possible so I can repeat it for the second time third time more like that's a dead end This wasn't the right 
way, but I'm gonna have to kill you now, Mr. Ninja. If he was a real ninja, I would have never seen him. Ugh. That leads that way. So I'm gonna go this way. Which is a dead end. Okay, so it's probably further down. Stairs are. Maybe it's that black space right there that I didn't bother going to. I'm gonna have to go all the way around. It's really annoying. Next level. Okay, let's stick these guys on. What? Ha! Mm, okay. Okay, that's not that bad. Super annoying, but not that bad. I'm surprised I haven't leveled up by now. Yay, it's also time to run away. Oh, shoot. Do I have any healing potions? Orange potions. I don't have any more healing potions. Oh shoot, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. No! I'm gonna live! I want to li- Oh shit. I'm gonna live! I want to live! No! No! No, I want to live! I'm gonna have to, um, use something I've been saving. survived. The shinobi, not as bad as the robots. I don't know why I keep taking on the robots when I don't have to. Let's see if I can bait one up here so I can take him on. Finally leveled up. Okay, so purple potion, orange ring. Let's find out what the orange ring does. Worst that could happen is I can horribly cursed. It's food ring. I'm not really sure what that does. in here. I'm debating about whether or not I should take them on. I don't really have a good track record with the robots, but I am leveled up. Um, I'm gonna pick up the food for sure. Find out what the ring is. Blue ring. Which is a flame ring, so it doesn't do any extra stats, but if I throw it, it's gonna do fire damage. Let's um, regen some health before I take on the robot. Uh, same deal with the other robot. Okay. 
secret door. Leather helmet. Eh. Take out this ninja. I got it. I got it good. Can't carry that, so I'm gonna be dumping some more weapons. I don't need a hand axe. I don't need a lance because I'm never gonna use you. And I picked up a short joint. Great. This should be the last. Nope. There's gonna be more rooms. Potion, orange ring, and let me kill this robot. I'm being very paranoid about traps right now. Oh, there's shield and the stairs. Let's go. Okay, level nine again. in a bad spot because I'm letting them surround me but I think I can uh, take them on they're relatively weak I'm kind of a high level for this point I think I was talking about something and then I got distracted Oh yeah, I was talking about uh, Super Meat Boy and uh, I finally got it. See, I, I kind of want to play those games. But, like I was saying, um... See, hold on. And I'm back, I just wanted to double check my recording just to see if I'm repeating myself, which I am. So I'm gonna stop. Needless to say, they're on my divine list. Oh, okay, I'm gonna have food. I think this is the point where I start getting better weapons. No, I don't want to dance. Come on. There we go. And one shot, one kill. Green potion. Axe, a hand axe. Oh. And a bow, which I'm going to pass up, and a red scroll. Oh, new enemy, the eyeball, which is tile based, can't go down the hallways, and it's ranged too thick. We'll find out in a second. Yep, it's ranged. It's pretty hard too, ow. Gotta push over though. Um, 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 I think I'm ready for the next floor, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip the last couple of rooms. Move on to the next floor in case, before I hit another friggin' trap. Oh, this room. Okay, this room is a little bit annoying. Most guys will say, hey, just run straight to the stairs. Because what happens is this is just one big giant room filled with nothing but enemies. It's really easy to get surrounded and a bunch of nasty things to happen. So what I always do is I save a pink cane. And that's the wrong cane. The yellow cane, I mean, which is the anti-magic. They all woke up, so the hypnosis cane is kind of useless. And the chaos scroll, which put, confuses everything for a long time. Makes it easier, and I don't, it's harder for them to figure out I'm here and surround me. So I could just pick them off one at a time at my leisure. Which I 
fully intend on doing because there's super large amounts of experience in this room. It's real easy to do once uh, everything's confused. And because I use the anti-magic, all these wizards in here can't make me dance, which is the most annoying thing ever. Especially when you're up against four or five wizards. So I'm just gonna go do a really methodical, go up and down this room looking for items and monsters to decimate. Oh, that's a new, another new enemy. It's called the Mimic. Which is an uh, enemy that pretends to be a bag of money. It's kind of hard to kill. I might actually have to run away from it because I keep missing it. So, a couple more hits. Yeah, I'm done with you. I'm gonna throw a ring at you. Not, not where. Black ring, what do we have a lot of? I'm gonna throw a blizzard ring at you. And that kills him. Potion, Alpha. Guessing you're gonna be in the long bow. Ugh. I'm gonna skip on the food because my food's pretty high right now. And I can't care anymore. I'm gonna try and line myself up with one of these guys and throw something at them so I'm not just outright wasting it. Um, let's throw the hand axe at you. And let's throw another flip sword at him. Just kill you outright. Or he's gonna kill me. No, I'm not gonna this. Shinobi sword. I don't remember that one. Let's, let's figure out what that does. Four points of damage, hell yeah, I'm gonna stick with that. It's actually a really good sword. Um, and dump another hand axe, because we have two of those. Long sword, ugh. And a ring. Yeah, it's really, really good sword. Can't carry any more potions, so let's figure out what another potion does. Uh, blinder, what's blinder? Power up, brain. Yo, let's use the green potion. Oh, shoot. So I have to hunt down that food I've been passing up because I'm starving now and my health is going to start ticking now. Saved. I think there was one more piece of food. I'm not sure though. Um, couple fake bags of money. That's pretty easy to take out with my new sword. And I think that's everything in this room. That was, that was way easy. And I got a pretty good sword out of it, so let's move on to the next level. Oh, and a new enemy, the insect. The insect can actually melt your weapons, so they're kind of pretty annoying, and I'd be really sad if it destroys my new sword. Or does it just do armor? Yeah, it just does armor. And that's why I carry extra pieces of armor. Oh shoot, I don't have electric chain helm though. And also, if you probably know this last level, the music changed. Which is awesome. Oh, these amoebas also clone themselves two times per clone. So it's quite easy to fill an entire room up with these guys. Can't carry any more armor. Ugh. Just throw another armor and scale armor. So we also got some new armor. That isn't horribly cursed, which is a good thing. These guys think will steal your money if you're not careful, but again, with my new shinobi sword, it's the pushover. Because it's more powerful than an axe I could get at this point, and also more accurate, so which is pretty freaking sweet right now. I actually lucked out a lot. Just have to replace my helmet that I just got melted. Can I carry any more potions? Um, 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 uh, I cursed myself. 
so pretty much this is the effect of um, being full. It slows me down a lot. Too much, not much of a big deal. I want to pick up that shirt again, so I'm going to dump longsword. I'm hoping that shield is an upgrade. I don't know, I already have a wood shield upgrade equipped. Um, I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure there's also a secret door shortcut there, but I'm just going to walk it off because I'm cursed. My food is dropping pretty low, so I'm going to have to start looking for food too. Yeah, food and a helmet. Uh, potion and that sword looks tricky, like a tricky sneaky snake. Let's use up some of these orange potions. It's a temporary buff. I'm not sure. I oh, fake sword. It's a ghost. It pretends to be a sword. Healing a couple, but I kind of don't want to waste them. Run away. Oh no, I can't run away. Uh, I'm gonna have to use up a healing potion. Another new enemy the burning tree. Doesn't move, but it is range. I'm a full health so I can take them on. They hit hard, but they're pretty easy to take out. Fire tree, same difference. And the stairs. Uh, I'm gonna pick up that food. And this bow, just because I have the inventory space for it, and crawl up the next stairs. 